What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we have One Piece Kaido in his uh, dragon form. So it's mostly like his head. So it couldn't fit in like his whole body and stuff. Could the head be too small you wouldn't be able to see any of the details that I was drawing. So we got like mostly his head. I'm on a landscape orientation page. Use a pencil for these definitely and hit pause if and when I go too fast. So center point of my page, approximately here. So I'm down, I'm going to start down a little bit from the center point because he's got like these big horns and hair and stuff at the back. So center point about here, down a little bit, and we're going to start with his eyes. And we got these ticks, right? So he's got like these big sort of classic sort of like dragon, like Asian sort of dragon eyes, right? So Starts with a spiral, like that, and then it ticks up this way, okay? One there, and same on the other side, so you can go like so, right? So like a mirror image of one another, and then the back kind of has flames, kind of sticks up like so. Same here. It doesn't have to be the exact same on both sides, but pretty similar. Like so. Okay. So, then his eyes. So, deep, dark, circular lines coming around here. Okay. Like so. And then we have another line for the white of his eye, just here. Both sides, right? Pupils, so just kind of touch the top of his eyebrow, kind of a half circle, just there. So, and you can put a dot just in the middle if you want it. And around here is dark black. So, so then his nose comes down like so, to there, and then nostrils. So we got a bump with a big bump in the middle, like that. So small, big, small, and then his nostrils will come around the bottom, just to here. And nostrils inside, just in there. And this is dark inside. And then he has ridges coming over his nose. Like that. So just under Kaido's nose, then he's got those big mustaches, right? So like diagonal line here, diagonal line there. And then we're gonna bring a big wavy line coming all the way, like right to the edge, even probably off the page, right? But we'll see how we go. So we'll go. Like so. So that, and then. Will I go off the page? I'd say I will go off the page. Yeah, so it goes like off that way. And then the other, you make it a double line. So you just do that again. Like that, okay. And then we'll do similar over here. So we'll go. Like 
So, do, 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 do. and these are, I think it's black. It is in the, I think it's, I'm looking at the anime picture, but they could be black or gray, depends. So, so his mouth is kind of weird. So he's got like um, square shapes uh, coming down. Yeah, so like here, it's kind of a square sort of thing going on. Kind of square lips or something. They've got like, it's, I, I can't describe them. They're just like rectangle squares. Sorry, I'm just making his nose a bit pointier here in the middle. Back to the lips. Uh, square shapes coming around like that, kind of a radial sort of pattern going on. And then his chin and the rest of his mouth, so like curves down here. Up to that side. Uh, and this probably double line because he's got his like gums and lips and things there and then sharp kind of teeth right so like typical sort of dragon kind of style with two big ones there a couple of smaller ones coming across here and then some coming up the side Going up the side of his mouth. Like so. And then this curves around into there. So similar to his top lip, he's got like these sorts of square scales or hair coming off his chin as well. Coming around like so. So the rest of his head, right. So we'll go back up to his eyes. So the side of his head, just up here beside his eyebrows. And up here too. Right? Oop. Yeah. Right, and then this comes out. Side of his head comes out there. And we got those square things again. Like this. Nice. Three or four of them on that side. And this curves down like so, and then those square sort of things here. Right, so we'll attempt to join this to his mouth then. So he's got like his mouth curving around here. Like that kind of shape. And then you double that line up. And it kind of meets a big tooth here. It kind of hangs down. You stop that line there and then another tooth comes up there and I think that's yeah that's a sharp tooth in there as well so we just have to erase some of those lines but we'll do the other side first so this curves up around kind of into 
there, make it a double. Two things down, just there. Maybe the rest of his mouth should come in there. And then we have a tooth sticking up. Like that. And see these lines just underneath the teeth? I'm just going to erase them. You should be using a pencil and an eraser anyway. Um, okay, so maybe a couple more squares kind of things. Those rectangular sort of shapes, one or two. Just there. Okay, so his horns. Horns sticking off his head. So they come out from these growths on the side of his head right here. Skin sort of growths, right? So they come out from here. So they're attached to his head. Surprise, surprise. Okay. They go out from these areas so they're quite large so we curve it out around and up this way one to there bring it back down like that Could be some like texture lines up and down. Like that. And then we do something similar or attempt to on the other side. So down. First you go down and then we go back up. Spike it and then come back. And then we'll bring it up into here. up here he's like another set of horns then they come out this way and there's kind of a line a scale or something in the middle here and then there's like layers of scales that like run down his head here and we're just gonna do some suggestions of it like so Oh, and he's got some like bumps on his face, lines on the up his face coming out from his eyes here as well. Okay, so another set of horns. So it's gonna go up to the top of his page. Up to the top of his page? Up to the top of my page. Oh, up to there, and then we're gonna bring it back. Like so. So it's kind of like a double horn. And then same on the other side. So we go up, like so. Attempt to bring it back down. And 
to about there and goes up back around and down like so and texture lines and stuff if you want them don't have to do these if you don't want to but I want to okay so He's got like all black hair coming around his head, right? So we'll start at the horn here. So like all these sort of hair spikes. Coming out. So you can do these any old way really. They don't have to be exactly like mine or anything you're just going for kind of hair spikes that come out around his head right so this kind of thing Uh, yeah, and just some more. They kind of get like wavier and kind of bigger as we go out here. Like this. This is all black inside here. Like so. Uh, oh, he's got ears. Missed the ears. So they're kind of pointy behind his horns here. Come down to his head. Another one here, like so. And then some more of this hair, sort of coming up from around his head. Like this. More on the other side, just here. So you're just like doing that. You're trying to add like a, just a sort of a cloud of black, what looks like sort of flame. Sort of coming around his head. That's all. You're not really. Doesn't. It doesn't have to be anything special. Just. And then, so it kind of it kind of flows off this way a little bit. So, okay, we're kind of in line. Yeah. Goes off around here. It goes off the top of my page, kind of just off up there. So there's loads of hair that goes up that way, but I couldn't fit it all in. Um, right. So his neck. So I think it comes down from here somewhere. Sure, but yeah, so we'll curve it down. Like that, 
All right, so real sort of snake like neck. And we're going to stop in line with his tongue, right? Because that's where his purple um, his kind of fur collar that he wears. That's where it begins. So then we're going to do kind of dots coming up in a line. It seems to be where his skin goes from blue to peach and then the other side of his neck kind of bumps down here. Okay, so this is like blue dots or black dots on blue skin and then we got like fur here, the purple fur that he wears. This is probably a long video. This is more complicated than I thought it would be. So here like this. I should have known Kaido is not easy. Uh, okay, so then scales kind of here. So more purple fur going this way. Just in, in the corner here, that's all I could fit. It goes like real far, but uh, that's all I could fit in there. So then coming across his neck, he's got um, like these lines, these sort of scale kind of lines. You know, coming down from these sort of ridges, just here. Like this. Coming all and they sort of, they stop at these sort of black dot line here because that's where the blue scales start. So all up there. And so when I say scales, I mean there is like these sort of things on this side of his body, okay? Going up and down. Here. So, and then I think we've more black hair coming up around here. So we gotta do that. No rest for the wicked. Keep going. How are you getting on? Easy, hard? Let me know in the comments. Let me know if anyone was able to draw this and follow the instructions. Because I am always trying to adjust what I do. Try and make it easier for you guys. That's the goal. Some more hair. Just there. Right, so that's dark black inside there. And he's got like body, like a wrap around snake like body. So it like comes out from say here, horn level. And then go down that way. that way and then more dots here with some snake like body lines 
coming down from it. Just there. And some scales. Running up and down this part of his body. So this is all like blue in, in here and this is like a peach color. Um, so I think, yeah, there's like another piece of blue body here. More hair and scales again. So there's some body that comes out from his horn here. So he's basically like a giant snake with like lots of body parts. You could finish, you could just do the head if you wanted, of course, but I might as well draw everything just for anyone who feels like a challenge, I guess. So we have more body goes off that way, off my page that way. And that means there has to be more kind of dragon-like hair or, yeah, like black scales or something. that way and so half this is dot a dotted section with the curving lines going up the body like that and then scales Just these sort of bumping areas. Like so. Um. And then I think more purple fur down here. Okay, that's, that's purple, that's purple. And then more blue body, you guessed it, going down this way. with some more sort of hair lines, dragon-like scales, all here. Like that, and then scales all here as well. So, uh, yeah, so just a few more of those dots and stuff on his 
skin, but I think I'll leave it there. That is how to draw Kaido in his dragon form. Hope it was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.